What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Retro Queen, and we are back up in this thing with another grand reaction, man. This was one of the ones that y'all was getting at me a lot about on um, to get up on the channel. It was this one, and one. It was like a couple of more, but a lot of them y'all were telling me if I wanted to really just kind of get into like his rapping style and just his, you know, like different bars and stuff, doubles, triples, you know, word plays and all of that. This was one of the ones that y'all told me about, and like I said, along with a couple of other ones. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Ren, illest of our time. Illis, that Wayne. Uh, world. One, two, three, spitting bullets. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me look at that again and see something. So he came in with a pig. Wanna play? Let's see. One, two, three, spitting bullets on the beat. I'm <laughs> okay, so I like that. One, two, three, spitting bullets on the beat, spitting fire, spitting something hot. But um, right then, that, that certain transition, in, in which I, I could be off, but it made it seem like like, like you entering maybe like his mind or entering inside his head or his life or, you know, just his thought process. And then he started freestyling with because he you could see like the pig or, you know, the other guy with the mask on. He pulled the um the door back and it was like he was walking inside of an elevator, but it's real close in and real tight. So it, it's almost like you, you walking inside of something. And then he goes straight into the, you know, straight into the raps and stuff. But y'all let me know. See y'all, this right here. Walking into something. One, two, three, spitting bullets on the beat. I'm a sick little puppy who gets lucky when he speaks. Blessed with a silver tongue, ah. chest with an iron lung. Extraterrestrial tentacles, aliens. Psychopathic tendencies, a pathologic okay. entity. If so is he talking about, um... Oh yeah, another thing y'all was telling me too, in which uh, y'all told me in his in the first video that I done too, but he was dealing with a sickness, in which you know that could be a um you know a double within the title, illness of our time, you know being you know he playing off of the sickness that he has, but also saying you know he the illest as far as rap and you know just the musical talent that he had, but y'all were telling me that he had a sickness going on and stuff. Can't remember exactly what it was, but. I think he's doing a little bit better now or a lot better actually um you know with his treatments and everything but he just talked about it then like you know the sick little puppy and that's that's kind of a reference that we give a lot of you know mainly, mainly the children or you know just younger people and stuff he's like oh you sick like a little puppy or you know just, just playing off of it like that and then he also added lucky in too and um that could be another double or another playoff of the words because a lot of people name their dogs or you know they pets and stuff lucky as well so i might be reaching but i don't know i'm just trying to you know get inside the mind of rent <laughs> one two three spitting bullets on the beat i'm a sick little puppy who gets lucky when he speaks blessed with the silver tongue chest with an iron lung extraterrestrial okay. tentacles aliens psychopathic tendencies a path logic entity if everything is set in stone then this is how it's meant to be elementary dear watson you might find yourself inside the mind of uh, the illest of our time get it popping hot see he just said inside the mind the illest of our time and then he also just referenced the elementary in which he could be talking about the elementary rhyme scheme because um how he came in the with the uh, one two three it kind of reminds me of um like a dr seuss rhyme or just a lot of those, you know, the old nursery rhymes and stuff, how it's real simple, like real simplistic, but yet real effective. So he could be playing off of that right there too, how he came in on the elementary note, just, you know, just so people can understand it. And now he finna, you know, just really go crazy. Might find yourself inside the mind of the illest of our time. Get it popping, hot rocking. I'm Freddy Krueger, I'm chopping. I turn it up to 11, the Demi Gordon of Oppen. The strangest thing, I'm the boss when the danger lingers. I'm Hold up, hold up. Bro, we ain't even a minute in. And I feel like I done paused it a million times already, but 
I think this is about to be one of the videos where it's a lot of breaking down almost every other bar. Let, let me hear that one more time. Cause I, I just finished watching stranger things. I know I'm late to it, but I don't really watch TV, but I just finished watching stranger things. And I think I heard a couple of bars there. Well, I'm, I want to hear it one more time though. Meant to be elementary. They watch and you might find yourself inside the mind of the illest of our time. Get it popping, hot rocking. I'm Freddy Krueger. I'm chopping. I turn it up to 11. The Demi Gordon of upping the strangest thing. I'm the boss when the day. See? I turn it up. Well, he, he hit us with the Freddy Krueger line at first. And then as he was swinging the bat, he said he turns it up to 11. The Demi Gorgon of our, I think he said of our time, the strangest things. And see, that was one of the things on, um, you know, not, not to give too much. Cause I, I know some people may have, you know, haven't seen it or anything, but uh, that was one of the things within stranger things um 11 which was the girl that had the powers and the demigorgon but i'll just leave it at that just you know just so y'all can know the reference but it could be another play too because um <clears throat> excuse me i know sometimes with earthquakes or just uh you know i like just just other type of things like that they always like to say we're gonna turn the dial up to you know 10 or whatever but he also saying 11 because he going he cranking it up higher than what it can actually go. So it like, we got a lot of doubles on top of doubles here. Triples and quadruples. I like this word play. Mind of the illest of our time. Get it popping, hot rocking. I'm Freddy Krueger, I'm chopping. I turn it up to 11, the Demi Gordon of upping. The strangest thing, I'm the boss. When the danger lingers, I'm plotting. Sweet like a spoonful of sugar. The kids are merry like popping. The double barrel is cocking. A shotgun sheltered the noggin. I'm coughing, catchy bronchitis. You're in your funeral coffin. No stopping. Wait, 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 wait. But y'all go ahead and let me know so I can know how to do, you know, like when I react to this up to his other one, but he got so many doubles right now. Like it I'm a I'ma try to catch as many as I can, but I know I'm gonna miss a lot of them. But early when he when he came in, it's like cause I know I told y'all I like his storytelling and stuff too. But early when he came in. It's like he set this set the scene for what he was gonna be talking about throughout this song. Because I heard I heard him mentioning like um you know he he talked about the Sherlock Holmes stuff in which I'm not huge on Sherlock Holmes, so a lot of those bars went over my head. And then he just talked about the uh spoonful of sugar with the Mary Poppins. He talked about stranger things so far. And if you go back to the beginning, he he outlined some of those things. So I'm one, I heard him outlining it, but I didn't know exactly where he was going with it, but it seemed like he outlined it like a story. Um, you know how you have to put your, you know, your brainstorm, then you do your topics and stuff. And now he actually going into each one of those topics. But I, I, I might be wrong, but I, that's what it seemed like he doing. Turn it up to 11, the Demi Gordon of upping. The strangest thing, I'm the boss. When the danger lingers, I'm plotting. Sweet like a spoonful of sugar. Because I'm merry like popping. The double barrel is cocking. A shotgun sheltered the noggin. I'm coughing, catchy bronchitis. You're in your funeral coffin. No stopping, blocking me. Coughing, bronchitis, but you also dead in your coffin in your funeral. But he's saying coughing like bronchitis because, you know, when you got bronchitis, you cough a lot, but coughing c-o-f-f-i-n c-o-u-g-h-i-n but being in your coffin a lot of doubles and a lot of wordplay just and he bunching it up real smooth and real tight too so if you don't catch it like if you're not really like laser focused it's gonna go over your head Sweet like a spoonful of sugar Because I'm merry like popping The double barrel is cocking A shotgun sheltered the noggin I'm coughing catchy bronchitis You're in your funeral coffin No stopping blocking me Not when I pick the world up I'm squatting And when I take from the okay. rich I'm in your hood and I'm robbing Four, five, six Come on, man Robin Hood Steal from the rich To give to the poor Coughing catchy bronchitis You're in your funeral coffin. No stopping blocking me Not when I pick the world up I'm squatting And when I take from the rich I'm in your hood and I'm robbing Four, five, six Spit a crucifix Six, six, six Flow Right there He just said Four, five, six Crucifix Uh, you know Could, could be bringing in Uh, like It And which I I try to You know, stay away from this A little bit Because I know it's You know, a bit of a touchy subject But The four, five, six 
earlier he talked about the elementary rhyme schemes when he came in with the one, two, three, and now he's at four, five, six, but also on um, the crucifix, uh, you know, playing off of the, the uh, revelations, 666, mark of the beast, end of the time, world ending. That, that's what it seemed like what he just brought in with all of that right there. But just remember that um, the storyline that he broke down at first, how he going into each one, elementary, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm assuming he going to go with the seven, eight, nine, because you know the one, two, pick up sticks, three, four, lay them straight, you know, all of that stuff. No stopping blocking me, not when I pick the world up, I'm squatting. And when I take from the rich, I'm in your hood and I'm robbing. Four, five, six, bit of crucifix, six, 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 flow, crucify a Catholic, maverick, yep, anti-hero, villain, not protagonist, words are kind of muffled when you're sucking on my massive, uh. who's the fucking illest, who's the realest, who's the baddest kid, called the police. See, he just said, who is the illest, who is the sickest, playing off of the title and what I was saying earlier too, the double off of illest, he's sick right now, um, you know, battling illness, battling sickness, but also illest, you know, just as far as the, the word playing stuff too. Maverick, anti-hero villain, not protagonist. Words are kind of muffled when you're sucking on my massive. Uh. Who's the fucking illest? Who's the realest? Who's the baddest kid? Call the police on this beat before I damage it. A kiddie called Screech mm. on the streets. I'm a masochist. So far from reach, I'm the type to kill a pacifist. Catalyst for chemical combustion. I'm the analyst of metaphors and similes and synonyms and alchemists. Of See? He just let us know right there. He just came off of a crazy wordplay, and then he said, uh, he just talked about the similes and metaphors and stuff, in which I was saying earlier. Like, it, it's so many in this video. Like, and I, we only halfway through it, not even halfway through it. And he got so much stuff that can be broken down, and we still got a whole nother, you know, couple of minutes, might as well say. And I'm sure it's gonna be a lot more doubles and triples. I'm a masochist, so far from reach, I'm the type to kill a pacifist Catalyst for chemical combustion, I'm the analyst of metaphors and similes and synonyms and alchemists Evangelist, spread the words I seek like they're cancerous Pragmatist, think before I speak, then I answer it Come on, man He still just brought that whole Catholic and church type vibe when he brought back with the evangelist Um, And then he talked about, you know, the evangelist when I speak With, uh, from what they say in the Bible or, or what I was taught growing up, the evangelist is pretty much that one that goes and spreads the gospel, you know, spread the words of the Bible and stuff to different people and everything. Spread the words I seek like they're cancerous. Pragmatist, <laughs> think before I speak, then I answer it. Pull up, pull up, pull up to the place. When I pull it, bang, I pull it, sang it, shot right into space. Music for the hooligans, let loose on the estate. Okay. Call the police and the riot bands, the people wanna play. Hey! Freedom now has lost all meaning. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, for I, I know it might be some people that don't like NF that's watching this video, but, and I, I'm not saying that he copying NF, so y'all don't even comment that down below. But I got NF vibes right there when they just did the switch, and then you know he he came over to the all white again. But um, one other thing that I like too, and which I made reference to it in um, I think it was High Ren when I reacted to that. But when he when he doing these different rhyme schemes and um, raps and stuff, you can hear the different voice changes that he has along with the with the way that the beat has like a high pitch and a low pitch. So it just adds a lot more to that immersive effect that I was talking about. And uh, you know, it just brings you in a lot more into the into the world, into his mind, and it makes you feel like you right there when he, you know, when he going through all, of, you know, all of the stuff that he rapping about. So that that's some of the small subtleties that I like with just artists in general. Into space, music for the hooligans let loose on the estate. Call yeah. the police and the riot bands, the people wanna play. Hey, freedom now has lost all meaning. How can we all be free in a hierarchy breeding ground? The yes, poor sir. get poor a while, the rich get rich in style. I'll be a heretic, kill or king, take his crown. Up the Hey, he talking right here. The rich get rich and the poor get poor. That's the world we live in. But then he he um I like how he switched to this all white. And which he, he had all white on earlier, but he went to like a dark mode and now he going back to all white. And as soon as it switched, he talked about how he was free. So um that he got the all white on representing like pure, free, 
And then still tying back in with the Catholic stuff that he was talking about too. And now he's getting ready to talk about, uh, cause he, he just sat down in the chair, talked about the King. So I'm guessing he's getting ready to go into another portion now. Police on the riot, bunch of people want to play. Hey! Freedom now, his life don't mean how. Can we all be free in a hierarchy breeding ground? The poor get poor a while, the rich get rich in style. I'll be a heretic, kill a king, take his crown. Top of the throne, top of the kingdom I own. Top of the streets that I roam, top yeah. of the domes. Spitting for Britain I shown, but I can sell a phone. I pin like Tyson and I can't go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think he just slipped the cell phone bar in there. A rocky breeding ground, the poor get poor a while, the rich get rich in style. I'll be a heretic, kill a king, take his crown. Top of the throne, top of the kingdom I own, top of the streets that I roam, top of the dome, spitting for Britain I shown, but I can sell a phone. I spitting for Britain, bars like a cellular phone. He's spitting bars, but also on the phone, um, you know, your cell phone bars, it talks about, you know, it, it lets you know about the service that you have. It has a small bar and then it goes about, you know, four or five bars up to the highest bar. So I like how you slid that in there. The kingdom I own, top of the streets that I roam, top of the domes, spitting for Britain I shown, but I can sell a phone. I pin like Tyson and I can't go twice in, like Brighton. I'm striking, like I'm biting, like a python. Ready, I'm heavy, I'm Mercury, I okay. am Freddy, so eat my words, fill your belly like. Ready, I'm heavy. What do you say? Ready, I'm heavy like Mercury? Is he talking about not I did so so in chemistry, but periodic table. I think they said Mercury was the heaviest element or one of the heaviest elements. Um y'all let me know about that. Let me see. I don't know if I'm reaching or not, but then he talked about Tyson biting left, right, left, right, boxing. You know, you punching left and right. Like a python Ready, I'm heavy I'm Mercury, I am Freddy So eat my words, fill your belly Like alphabet, he's spaghetti I am a rap star Don't believe me, the facts are I spit fast like a NASCAR Don't believe me, then fuck your ass Spit fast like I'm NASCAR NASCAR going around Daytona 500 real fast I am Freddy So eat my words, fill your belly Like alphabet, he's spaghetti I am a rap star Don't believe me, the facts are I spit fast like a NASCAR Don't believe me, then fuck your ass Shit <laughs> I don't feel so well. Still playing off the sickness. I don't feel so well. I don't feel so well. <laughs> Call a medic for myself. I don't feel so hot, my brother. Aching, shaking, stop that stuff. Things gone wrong, hit my King Kong ace, one tom bomb like Hardy Brothers. I don't feel so fresh, my bro. Man. Right Call here. Call a medic for myself. For my wrestling people. Catch this one. I don't feel so well. Call a medic for myself. I don't feel so hot, my brother. Aching, shaking, stop that stuff. Things gone wrong, hit my King Kong ace, one tom bomb like Hardy Brothers. I don't feel so. See, it, I I know one of them was Ed Hardy. Was it Jeff? Jeff and Ed Hardy? Um, for wrestling. I used to be a huge wrestling fan back when I was a little jit. But the Hardy, the Hardy Brothers, they used to do um the swan. I think it was called the swan time bomb off of the top rope. He just referenced that. Aching, shaking, stop that stuff. Things gone wrong, hit my King Kong ace, one tom bomb like Hardy Brothers. I don't feel so fresh, my bro. Things look blurry, speaking slow. Head in Hong Kong, one tom soup is what I have for brains. I know that I want to spread these tattered wings, hold them high. Banished from the heavens, but I'm knocking on the sky. Living with depression is a. Is this still playing off of that uh Catholic scheme? Let me see. Tom soup is what I have for brains. I know that I want to spread these tattered wings, hold them high. Banished from the heavens, but I'm knocking on the sky. Living with depression is a blessing in disguise. Never second guessing, intuition getting wise. One to sink into the pupil of my eye. Travel to the corner of my cornea and mine. Look for all the answers that I never seem to find. Till then, I guess I'm still the illest of our time. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. That's it, man. Bef I don't even know where to begin on this one. Like, I and I'm I'm being a hundred percent honest right here when I say this. Other than Wayne, I don't know that I've heard like metaphors, similes, different breakdowns. I don't know if I've heard that from any other artist to that level. Like I, I know a lot of artists do it, but to this, 
to be able to reach this level when it comes to like rapping, making music, just being able to, you know, bring those type of words and analogies together, it take a special type of talent. And like I said, other than Lil Wayne, it's not too many people that I know who can reach this level, but Ren isn't Ren is he there. He there when it comes to that talent level. And um I know that I probably missed a lot of things, but like I told y'all, it, it seemed like he was going into a storytelling at the beginning when he was breaking it down with the one, two, three. And then, um, you know, he, he talked about what he was going to go into. And then throughout the entire rap, he hit each one of those points back to back to back. And, um, just, just the way that he brought in so many like metaphors and stuff, man, I'm still like, I got to go back to this song. I, I got to, because I, I just want to be able to sit there and just, you know, just listen and just, just really soak in all all of the stuff that he talking about in this song but i hope that y'all enjoyed this for the ones that um that y'all know that i missed or you or i got wrong or something like that y'all make sure that y'all comment down below because like i said i am going to go back and listen to it again and hopefully i can catch the perspective that y'all talking about but hopefully y'all enjoyed it man y'all make sure that y'all like comment and subscribe stay positive and stay smiling and without further ado this is your boy retro queen i'm out